Okay, today's project is pretty simple. First, you're going to need some Walmart brand spray adhesive, which is about the handiest thing on earth, and some silicone. It doesn't matter what kind. That's what I use because it flexes a little bit, and it dries quick, and it's pretty easy to find. And then we're going to need a useless CD or DVD that you're willing to sacrifice, and a marble. I'm sure you can dig one of these up somewhere. And you got to make sure the marble doesn't fall through the hole. It's critical. Now what we're making is a trizonal space warper. I'll show you it in operation when we're done with the project. But let's get started. You're going to need this image. And it probably works best if you print it out on photo quality paper. It looks really nice and bold here. I don't know if you, if you can tell from the video. But I will upload this, or a link rather, on my YouTube homepage so that you can find this image. And it'll be sized and everything correctly so it fits on a CD. Once you have it cut out, center it on the disc and put it, turn it upside down and trace the circle. Then we want to cut the circle a little bit bigger than the circle itself, about an eighth inch larger. Now I've applied spray adhesive to the back of the paper and I'm going to center it on my disc as best as I possibly can. It's really important to be as centered as possible so that it spins symmetrically. Now comes the hard part. For this part, get a brand new number two pencil. It's the eraser that has to be brand new. This is a great trick for caulking. It works on all sorts of small applications. It's going to be a little messy at first, but it'll get better. The beauty of using silicone is that when it dries, cures rather I believe, the excess can be peeled away pretty easily. So what we want to do with the eraser, I hope you can see, is get a nice smooth and perfectly uniform bead all the way around. And the excess, as long as it isn't touching the bead itself, won't be a problem because we can peel it off later. Now, if you did it right, that should be pretty much flawless. You should wait around an hour before you scrape the excess silicone off of the device, but I have another one sitting here, luckily. So here for your viewing pleasure. Space Warper. This one isn't on photo quality paper, but it still does the job. And it'll spin for a good amount of time, too.